Ah, oh, my t-shirt's getting shorter. I, uh, I did that thing. Hey! Oh no, you can see the bottom of my stomach hanging over my belt. I've done that terrible fucking thing, right? Because I, uh, I was, I used to be thin, and then I broke my leg. And uh, no, genuinely, I broke my leg, and I couldn't walk for about eighteen months. And so but my life went from me being sat on me, sat in my bed, to sat on my couch, to sat in my bed. I used to like do loads of sport and shit before that, and then I got really fat. And unfortunately, I used to wear skinny jeans at the time, and I still do. And that is a stupid fucking thing to do. <laughs> as you start to put on weight. If any of you out there are just starting to put on weight and you go, no, I think I can manage to fit into skinny jeans for a little bit longer, fucking give up on it, right? Because what will happen is, if you do what I did, I put on six stone, right? <laughs> In about a year. Yeah, genuinely. Uh, and, and so now, I've kind of, what's happened is, it, because I wear skinny jeans, it's forced all of the fat up. <laughs> so I've still got quite thin legs, but I've got this horrific muffin top thing going on that is so bad that if I try and wear jeans that are slightly baggier, it now looks like I'm wearing a rubber ring underneath them. <laughs> You've seen that look, haven't you? It's, just, it's a proper fucking gunt, isn't it? It's, you know, is it gut, is it cunt? I don't know. Uh, let's, it could be either, could be both. That's a fucking terrifying thing to be looking at from this distance. Uh, yeah, I've never said that on stage before. That's uh, oh, it's quite liberating, that, isn't it? I, uh, <laughs> Are we all doing all right? Yeah, 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 good. How are you doing over here? You all right? Cool, yeah, nice. And, and you, that you've sort of sat there staring into the middle distance as well. I have fucking noticed you. What's your name? John. John, and what do you do for a living, John? Bus Valata. Bus Valata. Fuck me, that is like a big job. And is that how, how you manage to keep such fancy eyebrows? Because those are fucking spectacular, mate. <laughs> have you been valeting, valeting your eyebrows? Just go... <laughs> They are, aren't they? Like, fucking, they're smashing. Uh, it's a bus valeting. So that's a fucking, like, so... Because I don't really get on buses because I'm, uh, oh, I'm fucking terrified. I am a properly broken. I'm a properly broken. I've got PTSD, right? But I, come on. I know, and it's not fun because people always go, oh, why don't you get the bus? I'm like, you don't want to hear this story. It's the same reason I don't drink. And they go, oh, why don't you drink? Like, that's ever going to be a fun story. <laughs> like, that's ever going to be the one that gets the party started. <laughs> Yeah, let's fucking hear this. This is a good story. Tell us why it is you don't drink. Well, I went a little bit too far. I did a fuckload of drugs and I nearly killed myself at the age of 27. All right, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I properly fucking went for drugs as well. I really did it. Like, I was, I did, uh, <laughs> I, I also, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> I did everything, like genuinely. I did, oh God, there's so much that I ended up doing. Like, cause when people go, oh, what drugs were you addicted to? And I was like, whatever anyone would give me, I would take from moment to moment. I, like, I ended up towards the end doing GHB, which is the date rape drug. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not if you don't drink, if you just take it on its own, it's known as liquid ecstasy. It's fucking horrible. Uh, it's basically like bleach. It's fucking awful. <laughs> it's, 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 Horrific stuff. You used to do that and take a fuckload of cocaine and then go and take some like, uh, poppers to try and keep the party going and then fucking, then some Valium so I could sleep afterwards. Like It got so out of hand. I once found myself at three o'clock in the morning walking up to a 24-hour garage carrying a frozen chicken, right? Because <laughs> in my head, I'm going, I'm definitely going to need some sort of backstory to buy tinfoil. <laughs> Fuck is that? That's, that is a problem right there. If any of you found yourself... If any of you ever find yourself at three o'clock in the morning walking up to bulletproof glass going <laughs> <laughs> Got any tinfoil? <laughs> I wanna cook that. <laughs> Just a guess, you're not roasting a chicken, you smackhead. Anyway. <laughs> Off the smack now. I uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I uh, yeah. So I, I've probably like fucked up and then like got. But I don't know why. Why did I start talking about that? Does anyone remember his eyebrows? His eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Razor fucking sharp eyebrows, but those eyebrows still are fucking fantastic. Like I hope I've not made you feel self conscious about them because they are fucking mint. Um, you what? Sorry. You'll do it for him. I was going to say, you spend more time. It's a good job you're doing that for him, rather than, because, like, clearly with your big beard, that's fucking fantastic <laughs> over there, Bilbo. What's your name, fella? Scott. Scott. And what do you do for a living, Scott? You work in the tattoo industry. Not a tattooist, I think you'll notice. That was, just, <laughs> that was very deftly avoided. You, you'd what? 100% correct. 100% correct. You're training to be a tattooist, or you just, you just put names in diaries? No, no, I order. You order? All the stock. Right, oh, that's fucking fantastic. So you, like, pick up the... Well, so you order the, all of those, you go, oh, what should we get? Should we get 200 of those uh, black latex gloves? Yeah, I think... 
I think we'll probably go through them. That's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> get some ink in. Yeah, I think we could probably do with some ink. Don't be going and getting that poster paint like you got last time. <laughs> Doesn't fucking work. All right, okay. So that's it. So how long have you done that for? 2009, years. Fuck me, that's a long time. <laughs> Since 2009, so that's like nine years. I don't know, I'm not good at maths. Is that, yeah, yeah you, were, you were nodding, going, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's nine years. Someone said that was 11. You're fucking worse at maths than I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fucking fantastic. So did, uh, did you, did you want to move into doing tattooing or are you a really shit drawer? Really shit drawer. It's a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't have put it quite like that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously I wouldn't. I'd be fucking drummed out of town. I, uh, 